Yahua reveals Good Friday is not the real Passover date. On Series 8, we have clearly presented on how the 613 mitzvot of Torah are connected to Yahua, the exact pattern of the fullness of the redemption plan. Now we will disclose on chart on how the witnessing between Yahua and Yahusha written in Torah that contain the 613 mitzvot, meaning commandments, have unveiled the Passover date conspiracy committed by the Jewish Sanhedrin who plotted to kill the Messiah and after his crucifixion in 31 AD, they altered and changed the actual Passover date. How the 613 mitzvah of Torah, in line with Yahuwah, scheduled the actual Passover date in the year of Christ's crucifixion. Beloved, one of the unresolved issues in biblical Christianity is the issue on Passover date that took place during the year of Christ's crucifixion and not only with regards to the Passover date but also the exact year when our Lord was crucified. There has been an unsettled argument whether the Passover date during the year of the crucifixion was really Friday or Wednesday. The ancient Hebrew calendar recorded the Passover date in 31 AD that fell on a Wednesday. April 25 as the 14th day of the first month of Abib, Leviticus 23.5. While the vast majority in the observance of Good Friday during Holy Week, especially among the Catholics, adhere to their traditional belief why Friday was the real Passover date and not Wednesday. By resolving this unsettled issue, we now present on how the 613 mitzvot of Torah in line with Yahuwah Tetragrammaton have scheduled the actual Passover date and also 31 AD as the actual year of Christ's crucifixion. We'll see on how the witnessing between the two scheduled the actual Passover date in the year of crucifixion. We have the following. Here we can see the witnessing between the Heavenly Father, Yahuwah, and His only begotten Son, Yahusha, where we could see in figure Yahuwah, we have 64 Yahusha we have 83 the 19 marking as the link between the two that is 83 minus 64 equals 19 then the witnessing between the 613 mitzvah of Torah and Exodus 12 49's one law, whose chapter and verse location reveals in figure the 588 marking that was manifest in Yahusha, Jesus, having all the nine different names of God, whose sum of the codes is 588. Yahusha having nine crowns, with all the nine different names of God written in it, a crown within a crown, all vested in him, that duplicates in figure the ninth hour equatorial time he died on the cross. We have 613 minus 588 equals 25. Upon getting the links between 25 and 19, we have 25 minus 19 equals 6. That prefigured the six covenant successions from Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Moses, Phinehas, until King David where Christ belonged as the Lion of the tribe of Judah, Revelation 5.5. There were six covenant successions, before the promised seed in Genesis 3.15, was manifest in the flesh, during Christ's first advent. Also the code under the title, Heavenly Father. That is 150, divided by 6, that refer to the six covenant successions that we mentioned, we have the 25 marking. The 25 of God's plan, that resembles the same 25 marking from the witnessing between the 613 mitzvah of Torah, and Exodus 12 49's one law, as manifest in Yahusha written in Torah. Question. What then is meant by this 25 marking, the 25 of God's plan, as disclosed to us by the witnessing between them? This 25 marking, 25 of God's plan, as shown by the witnessing between Yahusha of the Torah, 
and the 613 mitzvah of Torah as the Law of Moses, the first five books of the Bible also known as the Pentateuch, that were nailed to the cross during Christ's crucifixion, will prove to us, when in history, did our Savior take upon himself the curse it brings. Galatians 3.13 Number 1. The 25 Marking, scheduled the appointed time of Christ's first advent, during the last 72nd Sabbaths of years from creation, wherein 25 AD, where we could see the 25 marking, belong to the first year Sabbath, at the start of the 72nd Sabbaths of years, while 31 AD, the year of crucifixion, lies at the seventh year Sabbath. See historicism on Christ's first advent as shown in the background. Number 2. The 25 marking, 25 of God's plan, also scheduled the actual Passover date in the year of crucifixion 31 AD, when Yahusha took upon himself the curse of the law, Galatians 3.13, which proves the fact why the 613 mitzvah of Torah as the ceremonial law of Moses, was nailed to the cross. This 25 marking, marked April 25 as the 14th day of Abib, Passover date in Leviticus 23.5, that fell on a Wednesday, and not on April 27 that fell on a Friday, which was falsely introduced as the Passover date in 31 AD. That is why April 25 31 AD is the real Passover date, marked the start of the 72 hours period covered by the earthly sign of the prophet Jonah's three days and three nights, Matthew 12 40, which cannot be manipulated or changed, that is the exact opposite of what the Jewish Sanhedrin, have fabricated and altered the actual three days and three nights namely 72 hours covered by the earthly sign of the prophet Jonah, and reduced it to 36 hours period starting from Friday 3 pm until Sunday 3 am, Christ's resurrection. This conspiracy deceived the vast majority of Christians until today, who adhere to the common belief, that Friday was the Passover date in the year of Christ's crucifixion. Note. Caiaphas who plotted to kill the Messiah, John 1149-50, was the last Levitical high priest of the earthly sanctuary, referring to the second temple in Jerusalem, that was later destroyed in ruins by the Roman legion in 70 AD. Levitical priesthood in the earthly sanctuary, has been replaced by the order of Melchizedek priesthood, Hebrews 7:11, in the heavenly sanctuary, when Yahusha began his priestly ministry after his ascension, as the only mediator between God and man. Number 3, this 25 marking, as disclosed through the witnessing between God and Lamb, as previewed in another video, see insert below, is the portal that unlocked the secret code to Deuteronomy 29:29's secret things from God which then gave access to the revelation of God's mystery that arrived in the days of Revelation 10-7, as promised in the Bible. Number 4. The 25 marking, duplicates in figure the 25 appointed leaders of God's chosen church of both physical and spiritual Israel, Ezekiel 11-1, Ezekiel 8-16, seen by Ezekiel in his vision, who backslide from their faith, and betrayed their own trust. Number 5. The 25 marking, that was manifest in figure to the entire period covered by the cleansing of the heavenly sanctuary, which would last for 250.25 heavens days, where we could see the 25 of God's plan as disclosed on chart 40a in the background. Number 6. Last but not least, the 25 marking, that gave witness to the actual birth date of Yahusha, the controversial issue on the actual birth date of Christ. That fell on December 25, year 3 BC, where we could see the 25 of God's plan, until April 25 31 AD, as the Passover date that fell on a Wednesday, have a span of 33 and one third years of Christ's life, as God manifest in the flesh. This span of 33 and one third years of his life on earth, is equivalent to 100 hours in heaven, when Yahusha left heaven temporarily to become incarnate as our savior from sin. This 100 marking was engraved on sanctuary wall, as the 100 pomegranates in Jeremiah 52 23. Beloved, no matter what denomination each one of us belong, if you have been blessed after watching this video of the existing reality on how the scripture interpret itself line upon line through the lively oracles given unto us, which is not based on human speculation, but based on thus said the Lord testimony, I therefore invite you to like and subscribe my YouTube channel and also my Facebook account with URL links below the depository of the oracles of God in the Bible. God bless us all.